Hey guys, how's it going? So today's going to be yet another experiment. So I hope you guys can see everything. You guys can hear me. Um, so it's the same setup as last crafting stream, and we are using bowl. Color quiz grocer. So we got the handmade bowl that I made this last season out of the paper plate. Have a poker chip that um got from and two canvases that have already been gessoed. All of this has been gessoed. These are just really thin canvases. And these came in a pack. And a 100 percent uh Cotton. Really good, guys. First time I'm going to be using them, so I'm really excited. So, what you guys are going to need? Some utensils. Popsicle. One ounce, excuse me, two ounce uh, little cups. You can use yogurt cups. You can use a whole bunch of different little cups for tape. Already taped here, so we're just going to go. Get them when we're done. And then, this one might be in use. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how the paintings go before I decide that. Same thing with strong brush and little palette knife. These are all optional. So we will definitely, we're also going to need any gloves. And of course, be wonderful on the wipes. So when you read, let's remember that day. And worst case scenario, a plastic bag, a drying rack. That is everything on my list for other than the paints that's not up here. And I can we will be seeing kittens. Is their first day roaming around the house. They're adorable. I won't be able to touch them for a bit, so I want to get, show them a little bit, you know. So, yeah, we are definitely going to get this done. Probably not going to be using all of the chips. We'll definitely. I'm gonna try and experiment. All of this is experiments, guys. You know me. Well, if you guys have watched my crafting videos and said that you guys know I'm not very organized. So first off, we're gonna do the experiment one. That I really want to test out is the dollar store canvas. We're also going to be putting four on the sides and like here. Happen here. Set up before I start getting here. Out. I have one side that's gessoed and one side that's not. We're putting the one that is gessoed up. And these do not have tabs. I'm going to make this a little bit easier. Have the tabs and just go ahead and slide. Don't get stuck. We have our measuring cup. We got that. First off, we're going to start with one. If it's a hardware store, I get them in the big one. So. And also, this is the gesso. We're also going to use white bar mixture. Got a grain. Very dark uh, burgundy. Our methicone. I'm hoping since we're not doing something that is totally round, 
well not that it's not really round, but kind of oval style. It's not going to run off as much, so we'll get some more sand. Uh, one for each of the colors, that's white, gray, purple, and red. Have I used these or not? It's so funny. In the same colors. So we're going to go couple spoons of this to two teaspoons. As you can see, I'm just reusing. This is all oop paint. Local hardware store. Thing. How are you all doing it? Hard things with you guys hearing me all right? Hey Bob, can you listen to my uh, thing? Tell me if you can hear me. What? Can you listen to my We're definitely going to probably have this up over. Uh, it's echoing. Sorry about that, guys. This is why I'm always testing out. Man. I talk louder, though. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Can you guys hear me now? A little bit better? Okay, cool. Talking loud. So, okay, sorry about that, guys. I didn't realize it was so low and we lost power, so hey, whatever. <laughs> so we did two of the Floatrol and two tablespoons of Floatrol in each one. These are two ounce cups. Next up, we're gonna do the white. Um, actually, yeah, let's do the white first. One teaspoon. We want to do two teaspoons of colors. This one's a lot thicker. Listen to the kids over there playing. I'm like having to pay attention to what they're doing. <laughs> oh, yeah, this time last week, they would not be like this. So cute how they grow up so fast. Oops, a little bit more than two, but that's okay. A little bit more than natural. Not going to kill us. This way it gives you a little bit of wiggle room if you need to add some water. And do remember the water is going to react to the as well. You don't even have to use any methicone or anything like that if you don't have it. Oh, 
Ooh, let's say, yeah, that needs to be shaken up, guys. That went. See how fast that kind of came off there? You definitely know that the paint is thicker than that. Just used it. <laughs> a little bit better. I like this color. I want it to pop a little bit more than it has been. Just in case. <laughs> I forgot this is the one that doesn't open. And now it's not going to open at all, is it? And it wouldn't be a crafting thing if I did not make a complete mess. Before even starting. You have really liked uh, learning about all of this. It's been fun. These will get a good washing afterwards, but for right now, they are good to go. And, oops. Everything is uptight because, well, we have cats. <laughs> As you can see, I kind of mixed a little bit on the tip of this, but that's not a problem. Go away. Make sure you get the edges. And see how it just comes right off the tip. I mean, there's a little bit of a chunk. A little bit of different color is not going to hurt it too much. These are going to mix in. And it goes smooth. That's about the consistency you guys want. It's a little bit like honey to a very light pancake. This is gorgeous. I, I don't know. I mean, I know it's more in the pink family, but I really do like this color. It does pop really nicely. The rest of them. And then our really dark one. Okay, already pretty, already pretty. Okay, now we're gonna do the dimethicone, just a few drops. We're doing a little bit too much, but that is okay. Everybody deserves to be part of the fun. Okay. Just folded it in. Not much in there for the white. Remember, the more you mix, the smaller your cells will be with the dimethicone. I'm 
going to take our two because we're going to be doing two pours. We're going to be doing one pour over this. And then what we're going to do is make this into its own pour. These are going to be their own little things afterwards. And then this is also going to be its own pour. So it's kind of like a three in one. So it's kind of cool. And then we're going to just do a regular flip, uh, dirty pour on the That's that all started. Okay, I'm going to use the white lap. Maybe not last lap. Because the whites usually go straight to the bottom when you're doing a pour like this. It's one of the heavier paints. So I'm thinking if I can put this last, it might go down and bring up some of these. Kind of give us its own little motion. Um, as you can see, none of the old color is getting mixed into this. Just what was left on thick. That's about all that one's going to be able to <clears throat> take her game. Oh, 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 that is a no-no. We'll get some boobers like that. Make sure you guys get them out because it's not something you guys want to be left on your A little bit more of this one, but hey, that's fine. I don't mind having more of that one. Give us a little bit to work with for the sides. Okay, so first up, we are definitely going to try out this. Like I said, they're all experiments, my friends. They're all experiments. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just have fun doing it. And bringing you guys along, because you know, why not? Here's the scary part. This is where I always have hardest time. That's which one? Right or left? Oh, the cats are on top, so why not? No, I had those cats, but that's okay. Anything drops on this, that's okay. And of course not. I told you guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Make sure that it covers all evenly where it falls. Actually looks really mm -hmm. nice. Kind of hoping that stays like that. Trying to go a little bit slow so I don't lose. And this is where I should have had the lift.
I will take pictures before they're dry. You don't want to go in circles when you're doing this because it will create a lot of mud that basically is already in the middle of this. What I'm doing right now is just putting a little bit of paint on the edges so it has a little bit of something to kind of guide it. I want to pour all of this off because I kind of want to keep all of that. These have been so fun. I don't do guys, but just the colors of this. Ah, I did not just do that. I really did do that. Uh, Paul's decided it was going to break into the barrier here. As believe it or not, I have kitten writing my doodles. Trying to do that. So today has been the first day that the kittens have been out and about house. Ah, uh, set up a fantastic. Fantastic feces, guys. I am like totally ruining my eye over here. All I did was just mix up some mud, pour over, or touched part. Because this will keep moving just until the paint settles.
not too shabby guys not too shabby i'm really scared to touch this but i've got our other guy ready so let's go ahead and see if you can see this all right that is the painting like i said it's going to move just a little bit it's going to lighten up in color so there is two of each poker chips here are the other two poker chips. I like how that's marbling. I really do. And then look at that. That is really pretty, even with the messed up corners. I like how these are looking. Dripping a little bit more than I wanted it to, but that's okay because I can just come and stop moving. Sorry about that, guys. I just wanted to make sure that it was even. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. So I'm going to do two each of these. And these, are, like I said, are just poker chips that I got, and I just primed them. And what we're going to do now is what's called a dip. Never done this before, so what I mean, what, <laughs> what can happen, right? So what I'm going to do is bring down, twist, up. Oh, yeah, that does not look good. So oh, eh, maybe just kiss it, see how that works. I mean, nothing's a failure because you're still learning something. Okay, second one, different spot. And a still no. Okay, I don't think this is going to actually work out the way it would, so that's okay. We're going to still see how it works out. Might even try something different on them. And those two we're going to leave for this next pour. Okay, so this is going to be a regular flip cup, nothing special, and it has already been primed, and it's ready to go. I mean, even that's already pretty, guys. Have you seen that? Cells that are created. Okay, base, flip it upside down, now splice off. This is just, like I said, to lubricate the sides so that it has somewhere to go. Like you look like you have so much more paint in this, but then there's nothing. You guys don't have to do this. You can you guys can do a dry run as well if you have enough paint. 
but I never know what I have, so I'm just going to play around because that's what this is all about is the scariness of this. Now, you can do it a few ways. You can pick it up and just let it pour. You can pick it up, tilt it, and then kind of move it around where it kind of gives it a little bit of a flare. You can pick this up and kind of move it so it kind of stays into the thing. You can also poke a hole in the top and it will just fly out. So there's so many different ways you can do this. I have just always wondered how to do this, but I think I lift up a little bit, which I am so scared of. I'm just gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pinch just slightly and then pull up and then back away. So before it gets into, hopefully, before it gets into this the swirly uh, straight line. Yeah, can we say I'm scared to do this? Two, three. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I wish I could keep that. Just because Okay, so this is that. You can also get your hair dryer or a torch, a kitchen torch. You can also use a heat gun over this to get all of the pops, the bubbles and such. I forgot to set mine up, so I am not using it right this second. We will see if I decide to pull that out or not. So you're gonna pick it up slowly and evenly because that is a lot of paint on there. So you're just going to slowly move the canvas to the side that you're trying to clean up the edges by not losing a lot of your gorgeousness that is why you add the extra paint to the sides and then what you're going to do is move all the way back to the middle you're not doing circles because if you do circles it turns into mud and basically what we're meaning by the mud is when it kind of just all blends in together it becomes this one color Trying not to look at all of the beautifulness that I'm losing because that's just sad, guys. So much beautiful color. Forgive me if I'm not talking too much. I'm just really trying not to lose all of this into some straight, like, <laughs> straight lines into it. Middle. Get some of these stretched out lines kind of moving. And then back this way because we have a little bubble right there from the silicone. That's blue on it. Hey, look at that beauty. Now I'm just taking the popsicle stick. Probably some of this. But, oh, guys, that is just so much prettier. I like what's happening in the cup more than I do the, the canvas. Him over there. They're feeding right now. It's feeding time for the babies. Okay, so that is number two. Technically, three, four. <laughs> that doesn't look too bad what do you guys think is it all right oh bailey i am so sorry sweetheart i did not miss i missed i missed a really good thing enjoy those <laughs> emotes i'm so sorry girl i was paying attention to the painting how are you doing today thank you so much for joining me 
Hi guys, sorry, you guys caught me right at the end. If you guys have any questions or would like to see any of the spots that you guys haven't seen yet, please let me know, I am paying attention. Thank you, yeah, I really like this. The colors are really pretty. Um, I used a pink, which is this one right here. Kind of a pinkish red. Used a purple, te technically it's like a, a burgundy. A gray. This has been mixed, but it was a pure white. And so I poured these, um, this one, out of all of these colors. I'm not sure if you can see this little guy right here, but I need to move him anyway. And of course. That is a poker chip. I'm just kind of moving it around so it touches the edges. Like I said, this will even out. So that's kind of cool. I wish you guys could see it, but the lighting's not all too fresh. The pictures will be definitely better. Okay, so we're gonna bring back, so we've got this one. So let me see, <laughs> guys, I'm just like so scared to touch the stuff because it's just, oh, I always ruined it. <laughs> so let's go ahead without trying to pick this up too much. Can you see all of those little bubbles and cells and stuff? That's actually a good thing. That is kind of what we're going for. I'm telling you, the camera does not do it justice. Does not do it justice at all. I moved stuff and then moved it back. I need to get better drying racks. That's a, that's the <laughs> that's the outcome of all of this. Because I just touched my thing and it fell through the crack. So you got the poker chips down on the bottom here. You've got another painting, which I hope doesn't drip onto the bottom one. And that one was made on top of the square one here, was on top of that. And then it came off of that one onto the poker chips. Oh, I don't know if I should try something that I wanted to try with the balloons. Because I have balloons, I also have um, the dreaded band straw. <laughs> I also had a color palette. I was all ready to go. Um, I don't like how this is all gray, so who gets to be messed up? Okay, I think this turned out really nice. We have one more guy that's all prepped and ready. So if I see a spot, he's just going to be dumped. I'm going to move this out of the way for all of that is centered. You can also just blow on it to get all the bubbles out. Just remember the blowing will distract the painting. So you're just kind of looking for the hot breath which I have a lot of, ha uh ha. -huh. And this is gonna be its own painting. Basically what I'm gonna do is this is gonna dry and become little, uh, what's called skins. And then what you can do is cut these out and then use them as decorations. Um, Clover's gonna be using them for um, scrapbooking. So that's gonna be really cool. So let's see how badly I can mess this one up, guys. I'm just gonna go over here and barely, barely touch it this time. That's actually kind of cute, but I wanted it all covered. I 
know what? I've been wanting to play with this, so I'm going to test it. I'm just kind of grabbing some paint, just enough to make a blob. This is where you, all of you guys are screaming, don't mess with it, don't touch it, you're ruining it. <laughs> Hey Bailey, you rock by the way. I hope I said that at least. Okay, so everyday poker chips, guys. Well, sorry to say, but that was it. That was my pillows. Thanks, yeah, I, I like the idea. Um, the little Square one that you saw, that is a handmade bowl that um, I made last season. Um, I'm just gonna move this out of kitten way and I'm going to bring over the um, cups that I made last time to see how, to let you guys see how they dried. I really kind of do like them. They did a pretty good job drying. Okay, first off, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash these. Thanks for waiting guys, sorry. You're gonna see some feet. So that's what you guys are gonna see. <laughs> but um, this one here dried really nicely. That's the clay. I kind of wish I covered up that spot there. So those was our two reds. This one here is the mixture of all of the colors together. The reds, the blues, the grays, the purples, all of that. Same color, same everything, nothing changed. But look at how different those two are compared to each other. And this is just the blues and the whites. They dried really nicely. They my paint that I got on me now <laughs> on them. So yeah, and that was done the same way that I did um, everything, all the paints, all of that is exactly the same. Go ahead and just pull this back so that we won't make you try something different in a 
minute or two. But guys, I hope you enjoyed that really so much for the sub. I hope you enjoyed those little kittens and the coffee cup. Don't forget, you now have a curse word for Battlestar Galactica in that too. So if you want to, you know, be a pause and say frack instead of the other words, feel free to spread the love around. Like I said, what I'm going to do here with this little wonderful makeup of a... <laughs> I'm going to try to close this in here. So that when it uh, dries, we don't have any holes. So I'm just going to take the rest of all of this wonderful paint that we don't need and start cleaning up. So if you guys have a, if you want to chat, feel free because I can't touch my keyboard yet. So would you guys like to see more of this kind of on a normal basis since right now I'm just kind of, when I'm here, I do them, when I'm not, researching would this be something you guys would be interested in to see kind of the play-by-play -play on how it all is done with recipes and all of that wonderful stuff or do you think i should just kind of stick with gaming and doing a little bit more so i'm just trying to close up and as you can hear, my voice is getting changed, so that means I'm having a twitch. So, because we're talking about streaming, my <laughs> pause is like, oh. This is going to move still too, guys. So I'm just trying to get paint in places. I love the cups more, it, how it's spidering inside here. I really don't know if you guys can see because, like I said, the light's not too perfect. Now, if my camera moves, I do apologize. That is Jules getting into his bed. There. Mostly the corners will be cut off anyway. So it's a little bit muddy, it's not too big of a deal. But yeah, so that is my technique. As you can tell, it's not really a technique. It's just me having fun. <laughs> testing out paint, testing out how it's gonna work. Kinda bummed, because I really like how these turned out. I mean, I really do like how these turned out. I was going to smash it, but now I'm too scared to, because it actually looks nice. Um, what when you do when you smash it, it kind of gives it a little bit of a flower look. But yeah, I guys, I hope you had a good one. I hope you guys smiled at least today. Um, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I will be back um, if you guys would like to see more of these when I am priming. The cups, I'm also going to be doing the inside of the cups. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for the inside of the cups. So, ideas. If you guys want to see a design like I have for the other ones, the bowls that I did last year, um, that should be up on my Twitter or definitely, um, I believe I posted some on my Instagram. I got Instagram. Um, I believe it's also Positive Aries. So, get, definitely check that out. I got that work to work today. So happy. And yeah, so it's either going to be a plain color, which I'm gonna to try to match the dominant color of the bowls. It could be a design where I kind of paint my own design, or we could try a pour. The pour I don't think is going to work, but you don't know until you try. Um, so yeah, so this is a 
that's going to be a beautiful scan if I don't mess it up like I did. That did not turn out very well. As you can see, this used to be really pretty different colors and shapes, and it looked like that. It was beautiful. It had different cells going on, it had the color discretion. But what happened was, I don't know if you guys can see, I had the air conditioner on, or should I say, Old Bab had the air conditioner on, and I forgot that it was on, so I walked past it and it closed up on me. So there goes all of the beautiful sails like you could see here. Now it's just a big old mess, but that is fine because we can reuse that for another painting. Just like that. So guys, thank you again, Bailey. You are a rock star. I appreciate you. Um, thank you so much for that sub. I can't believe you subbed and I missed it. I am so sorry. And for six months in a row, you are almost a Twitter baby girl. You're almost a Twitter baby and I appreciate that. I really do. Your support means so much to me. Oh no, what? Oh yeah, did you just see the thing? Yeah, that, that was sad. <laughs> I do promise I will get better at these. But as you guys know, I am not, um, I, I don't know how to say this on here, <laughs> but if you guys know anything about my history, you understand that the crafting part and the gaming part are two different parts. And I'm not used to the in the camera having fun yet. So I will get better with this. The cameras will get better. The light is going to get better. And I might even get a better table. Who knows? Um, but it can only get better, right? I've only done a few paintings. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much. We are actually going to go ahead and find somebody who is in the crafting channel and raid them because, you know, we need to share the lovings. So check on my Facebook for sure, uh, Cause of Curiosity, for um, all the pictures for all of this, the video. It's going to be up on Twitter um, and YouTube in 24 hours, but not on Positive Aries. It's going to be on Positive Curiosity as well. I'll try to have all of that information. Um, but if you guys would like to know any of that info, just let me know and I will send it to you. But guys, as you can hear, my voice is changing. So that means I'm going to be getting disoriented pretty soon. I've got to go. You all rock so much. I hope you smiled and I hope you learned something. And I'll catch you all later. Bye, guys. Thank you. Please stay for the raid. I, I appreciate that. If you guys stay for the raid, just make sure if you guys would like to stay on that person's channel that you take off the um, raid call sign on the HTTP so you're considered a viewer. That does really help us. Okay, love you all. Thank you so much for joining me. I promise we'll get better. <laughs> Bye, guys.